What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 2 of the Great Turkish Road Trip. Today we are in the very distant city of Idir, uh, right next to, excuse me, right next to the Armenian border. I came to this city because I need to see a certain monument that I heard about and once I heard about it I could not believe my eyes so I had to see it by myself. Uh, so yeah, this is Idir, welcome. Baklava. Is this still Turkey? Where am I? Definitely not the best uh, um, Turkish roads I've seen. <laughs> Reminds me of Ciudad Juarez. There it is. There is the monument. Wow, now I'm finally seeing it. You might wonder why I came all the way over here just for this. Well, this monument commemorates the genocide of Turks at the hands of Armenians. As you may know, the government of Turkey has not recognized the Armenian Genocide even after piles and piles of evidence that it actually did happen at the hands of the young Turk government back in 1915. They keep denying it and they built this monument uh, kind of like... almost like a middle finger against Armenia saying that the Turks were the ones that were the victims of genocide. Now, don't get me wrong, a lot of Turks died in the Turkish-Armenian war but they did not suffer a systematic genocide, that's a lie. <laughs> and this monument stands uh, here at the border of Armenia and tells a different story from reality. I had to see it. I mean, the genocide happened and it's, it's the truth. The downtown mosque is surprisingly big. It's like the size of Ankara's mosque. And this is actually the first time I ever see this. I don't know if you've ever seen this, but the mosque is on top of a few uh, malls, a few stores. I have never seen such a thing. This is the area around the mosque. I think, um, yeah, the city may have had a hard time lately, like infrastructure wise, you saw the streets. There's some weeds that could use a little keeping. Idir has its own umbrella street. <laughs> Beautiful. Welcome to downtown Idir. You got cherries, tomatoes, mushrooms. Want to say hello? Hello. 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 From Mexico. Mexico. Hello. San Mexico. Tomatoes. Tomatesco. Uh, Mex <laughs> Mexico. Mexico. Uh, Spaniol, yeah. Uh, Calime. Calime. Tomate. Tomate. Uh -huh. Tomato. Tomate. Tomate. Spaniol, yeah. Tomate. English, yeah. English, uh, English, uh, here. Uh -huh. English, yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. To tomato. Tomato. English, tomato. Tomato. English, yeah. Uh -huh. Tomato. Turkish, yeah. Tomates. Tomates. Mmm. Say hello. 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 <laughs> Alright, these guys just invited me for tea. Oh, the secular abi. Thank you. Cigara. Uh, cigara yo. It's traditional Turk hospitality to invite you for tea. Also in the Arab countries and in Iran, very very popular. Look at this beauty. Uh, Saul. 
Hello. Say hello from Turkey. <laughs> I'm Turkey. You're Turkish? Yeah. Good. Abi. <laughs> This is definitely a bit more traditional. It reminds me of the markets in Egypt or in Latin America. Um, I like it. I'm liking it. There is Mount Ararat on the distance. I talked a bit about it in my Armenia episodes. Suffice to say it's a very symbolic mountain and it looks very beautiful. Although right now it's a little bit shy. <laughs> Mount Ararat was historically under the Kingdom of Armenia but when Mustafa Ataturk came and fought against the new Republic of Armenia he took all this territory so he did is like the border of Turkey once Ataturk fought the wars in the east so that's how things are now and Mount Ararat is in Turkey Behind me stands the eternal flame, commemorating the death of 1.5 million Armenians. This tall pillar is called Reborn Armenia, a symbol of the people of Armenia, of course, rising through the ashes of this horrific event back in 1915. I hope this episode has been beneficial to you because the more we are aware of our past and we acknowledge the atrocities that have been committed in the past by our ancestors, no matter which nation we belong to, we help to prevent any future injustice to be carried out. See you in the next adventure.